Hey everyone, this is your host. Red Mercury is an intriguing topic that has captured people's interest for many reasons. It's been associated with everything from nuclear warheads to new age healing crystals. But what exactly is Red Mercury? Is it a real substance or just a figment of our collective imagination? In this video, we will delve into the world of Red Mercury and explore its various uses and purported properties. So stay tuned as we uncover the truth about this enigmatic material. But before we dive in, let's talk about some quick facts about red mercury. First, it is a synthetic compound made by heating mercury in the presence of a strong acid. Second, its color can vary from orange to red, depending on the concentration of mercury. Third, it is highly toxic and should be handled with care. And lastly, despite its name, it is not radioactive. Now let's move on to the main part of the video. Red mercury, also known as mercuric oxide, is a bright red crystalline solid that has been used for a variety of purposes throughout history. One of its most common uses is in the production of other chemicals, such as chlorine and sodium hydroxide. These chemicals are used in a wide range of industries, including water treatment, paper production, and the manufacture of plastics and textiles. Another use of red mercury is in the production of pigments for paints and coatings. The intense red color of red mercury makes it an attractive option for use in high-performance paints and coatings for industrial applications, such as the protection of bridges and offshore structures. One of the more controversial uses of red mercury is in the field of nuclear energy. During the Cold War, there were rumors that the Soviet Union had developed a type of nuclear warhead that used red mercury as a tamper. A tamper is a device used to contain the nuclear fuel during the detonation of a nuclear weapon. The use of red mercury in this application was rumored to have the ability to enhance the efficiency and power of the warhead. However, these claims have never been substantiated, and the existence of such a warhead remains a mystery. Despite its historical uses, it's important to note that red mercury is a highly toxic substance and should be handled with extreme care. Exposure to high levels of red mercury can cause a variety of health problems, including kidney damage, neurological disorders, and even death. As a result, its use is now primarily limited to industrial applications where safety measures can be put in place to protect workers. In recent years, red mercury has also been promoted as a miracle cure for various ailments, including cancer and AIDS. However, there is no scientific evidence to support these claims and the use of red mercury as a medicine is considered to be a dangerous and discredited practice. Despite its toxicity, red mercury remains an intriguing substance that has captured the attention of scientists, researchers, and conspiracy theorists alike. Its unique properties and potential applications continue to be explored and debated. It's possible that new uses for this mysterious material will be discovered in the future. So how is red mercury made? The production of red mercury is a complex process that requires specialized equipment and expertise. The basic steps involved in its synthesis include heating mercury in the presence of a strong acid such as sulfuric acid, nitric acid, or hydrochloric acid. The reaction produces mercuric oxide, which is then purified and processed into various forms such as powder, crystals, or thin films. The exact method used to produce red mercury may vary depending on the intended application and the desired purity level. As mentioned earlier, one of the major uses of red mercury is in the production of chlorine, a chemical substance that is widely used in water treatment and industrial processes. Chlorine is produced by electrolysis, which is a process that uses electric current to break down a compound into its constituent elements. In the case of chlorine, electrolysis of a sodium chloride solution produces sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas. Red mercury is used as a catalyst in this process, which helps to increase the efficiency of chlorine production. Another use of red mercury is in the production of sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, which is a strong alkali used in various industrial processes, such as the manufacture of soap and paper. Sodium hydroxide is produced by the electrolysis of sodium chloride solutions. Again, red mercury can be used as a catalyst to increase the efficiency of this process. Red mercury has also been used in the past as a pigment in paints and coatings. Its intense red color and stability made it an attractive option for use in a variety of applications. However, 
Due to its toxicity, the use of red mercury as a pigment has largely been discontinued and it is now primarily used in industrial processes. So now let's talk about some of the interesting theories surrounding red mercury. One of the more popular theories is the so-called red mercury hoax, which refers to a series of events in the 1990s in which individuals and organizations claimed to possess a new and powerful technology based on red mercury. According to these claims, red mercury could be used to develop advanced military technologies such as nuclear warheads and anti-gravity devices. However, these claims were ultimately found to be false, and the whole affair became known as a major example of a scientific hoax. There are also some more outlandish theories about red mercury, such as the belief that it can be used as a healing crystal. Proponents of this belief claim that red mercury can help to heal the body and improve overall health. However, there is no scientific evidence to support these claims and the use of red mercury as a healing. Crystal is not recognized by the medical community. Overall, the theories surrounding red mercury are a mix of legitimate scientific inquiry and unfounded speculation. While there have been some genuine efforts to study and understand the properties of red mercury, there have also been a lot of wild theories and claims that have no basis in reality. It's important to be able to distinguish between these two and to rely on evidence-based information. When learning about red mercury or any other scientific topic, now let's move on to some frequently asked questions about red mercury. The first question is, is red mercury radioactive? The answer is no. Red mercury is not radioactive. Despite its use in nuclear-related technologies, it is not itself radioactive. Another common question is, is red mercury safe to handle? The answer is no. Red mercury is highly toxic and should only be handled by trained professionals in a well-ventilated area using appropriate safety equipment. Can red mercury be used as a medicine? The answer is no. There is no scientific evidence to support the use of red mercury as a medicine, and it should not be used to treat any medical condition. Finally, what are the long-term effects of exposure to red mercury? The answer is that the long-term effects of red mercury exposure are not fully understood, but it is known to be toxic to the kidneys and nervous system. And that brings us to the end of our video on red mercury. We hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating substance and its various uses and properties. Remember to always be critical of the information you find online and to rely on reputable sources. If you have any questions or comments about red mercury, feel free to leave them below. We would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.